Before we get started, I just want to mention if you have not taken apart many electronics before and you're just a beginner, uh, you might only want to take the back half of this product out, the first half of this video. Maybe just clean it out and not go too much further than that. Taking it apart further than that might damage it. You might just break your stuff further doing what I'm doing. I mean, I took that risk even a week into owning this product because I thought it was worth it. I want to mention for the price I paid, this is not a complaint about this, for the price I paid for this product, it is amazing for what it does. I could have probably swapped it out, got another one that might have just functioned just fine. I wanted to take care of it myself and maybe see if I could improve on it. So, I also want to mention, uh, and there's a link in this uh, description for this video for Wheeler, which is what I'll use to display the controls of um, my uh, steering wheel in this video and I'll also put a link in the description for the calibration of this video. Also for my Twitch channel, I also stream live here on YouTube the games that I play. I play with this steering wheel Assetto Corsa right now in VR. So if you'd like to come join, follow the channel, like the video, you know, do whatever that nonsense is. I'm not a big streamer, I'm not a big video producer. So anything would probably help, you know, I'd love to get that stuff kicked off someday. Anyways, enjoy. Alright, so we got the PXN wheel here, and the trouble I'm having was when I was hitting my gas pedal, I was getting a very kind of erratic, I wasn't getting full pedal, it was kind of floating around here, and then even holding the pedal it would kind of fluctuate like this. Just holding it with my foot, you would kind of see it fluctuate like that, it wouldn't really make it all the way up to full. And then you take your foot off, it'd go down just fine, but then you go to press down and it would kind of just fluctuate right around here, never really make it to full. This was not an issue when I had originally purchased this product. This was something that occurred over time. Otherwise, I might suspect it was the calibration. Um, and if you haven't calibrated your device, you might want to just go ahead and do that first. And even if you've had your device for a while and this problem just started out nowhere like mine did, you might want to just go and recalibrate your device because what's already happening even in my issue is that uh, the potentiometers are just sitting in a slightly different position. And you could consider this maybe it's broken in position. I would consider it more a broken position, but if it continued to work in that same spot, you might not have any issues, but I want to make sure I have no inconsistencies, not just the ability to hit max throttle, but the ability to do that smoothly throughout. This issue could affect any of your pedals as they all kind of work the same. So the first thing you want to do is remove all the little rubber feet off the back of the main part. You don't have to take them off of the footrest just the back of the main part because they hide screws. You need to remove all of those screws and all the feet and all of the screws on the inside so you can remove this back panel. And then you'll see what my issue is here is when you hit this pedal, the potentiometer doesn't move at all. You'll notice when I hit this pedal, it'll get you real close no movement at all. The thing is there's nothing holding these down other than the pressure of the springs. If you look at this one, when I hit the gas, we have movement in the potentiometer. Get it lift up at the end of the pedal. And then you can see it how it's supposed to work. No motion. This other pedal. No motion. So what you do is you pull these springs down and inward out underneath that, like that, gently so they don't unspring really quickly, down, inward, and then you can pull this up and pull your potentiometer out, 
and now you can reassemble everything and we can look at the action itself which I'll show you just a second alright so you want to push these tabs in but first you want to make sure the back tab is in its little seat right there on the pedal itself and then starting with your thumb right on the actual axis you just kind of push down and in and that kind of helps keep this from sliding off because if it slides off this won't actually sit right so you get both sides on and now we can actually see the issue with the action in the pedal Let's see if we can get better light So you can see at the end, it lifts right up. So if I put enough effort in, I could make it so that that didn't lift up like that by either weakening this other spring so it's not pushing up as hard, or by tightening this or getting this a little tighter. Um, what I'm gonna actually do is probably drop some glue right in the little slot where the potentiometer sits keeping it a little more stable so to reinsert that all you have to do is really just kind of lift one side slide that all the way in so that this is flush and then you can push back down gently and if you've got the right angle, you need two hands to do this part, but if you push down on this and you push your spring back in, it'll sit back down. Like this, so that you know, and then you can look. Let's see, it's still moving. So, anyways, yeah, so you can mess with your springs. You can take a spring from one side and swap it to another, take one from that to the other, but these are two different springs. You have to use one from the right side, or you can just take them out and screw with the springs and the tension, see what you can get until you get that to actually sit on its full rotation in that little seat that it has. So you can see on both sides, it's got a little seat that that little dowel sits in. There's nothing holding the top of it down other than the tension of this spring. It only has a semicircle which it rotates in. So you just want to make sure that while you're pressing that pedal, the entire rotation, it sits down in that seat there. Like it does on this side. And then that won't move at all. Or you can do what I'm doing and try to just stop this from moving by gluing it as well. Hot glue is probably best. I'm just going to use super glue and send it. Another thing that I could see causing that issue is dust getting in that track. I'm going to go and put a little dab of silicone grease in every little seat where that dowel sits. I'm going to take each pedal back out and put silicone grease in every U that those sit in. Um, and I'm also going to put silicone grease on the coil of the spring and the reason why is binding of a spring and friction of the spring coils on themselves will give a weird feeling and uh, a lot of inconsistency. So hopefully this will help bring a lot more consistency to your pedals. Full pedal? Nice and gradual.